Hello, hello all my crafty friends. This is Angela with Angela's Crafty Space. And I'm just coming on today to do a quick uh, tutorial, I guess, or a craft with me on um, altering this book cover. Because this is going to be my next project, which is an altered book. So in order to do this, I have some backs from napkins that I've just crunched up and got all wrinkly because that's the way we want them to be for this particular technique um, probably have way too many here but that's okay um, and then we're going to use some Mod Podge and I just always give mine a shake and we're going to cover the whole book cover with the Mod Podge and then we're gonna um, crinkle up the napkin. I have my surface protected with my non-stick mat. Okay so I'm just gonna do the spine here too. I think I'm gonna start with the spine actually. So how is everybody doing? I hope everyone is fine, doing well. I hope um, my prayers go out to those that were affected by Hurricane Laura. Um, what devastation. Living in Florida, we've been um, very lucky not to get storms like that. Um, the Gulf Coast has been hit quite hard lately with the last storms that have been going around so <clears throat> all right I'm just gonna go ahead and do the back too while I'm at it that'll give it some time to, to set up and get tacky so you just want to put a generous amount okay And what you're going to do is take the napkin backs and just place them on the book like so and just press down. You want it to be kind of wrinkly. That's the technique that we're trying to get. So we want it to be wrinkly. We want it to be bumpy. And then what we're going to do after this dries is we're going to put some paint on it. Some... Um, maybe some distress ink not sure yet exactly what I'm gonna do but it will be something of the sort all right so then you just do the next layer and you just keep on like this until you get as thick as you want it to be which I usually do like two or three napkins um, and then I'll show you how we do the inside with the over um, napkin that goes over the side of the page so I, I saw this um, technique not really the technique but um, Crafty Cat just did a book cover with this technique, but she didn't actually show the technique. She just explained it. So I figured I wanted to do it. So let me just do a little video showing the technique because some people might not know how to do it. So next napkin. I'm using a little bit smaller one this time no particular reason just the one that I grabbed so I'm gonna get it into that crease there that I missed before and I'm just patting patting and smoothing because again you want those lumpy bumpies you don't want it to be smooth smooth okay I've got some extra that went over to the back here so I'm just gonna 
put some Mod Podge over it. Okay, now I'm just gonna put some Mod Podge over the um, napkin. Because I think the front of this is good. And then we're gonna work on the back. So it only took two layers for the front. So then I'm just gonna do this and then put a layer of Mod Podge. So I finished up the uh, journal that we did the cover on off camera and I do apologize for that. I did a, a walk through or a flip through on it. Um, every time I turned the camera on, I got like camera shy. I don't know what was going on with me. Um, I think it's because I hadn't done a video in so long. So I need to start doing videos more often so I can prevent that from happening again. So I have another little piece here that'll be perfect for this. So again, I'm just patting it on there. And then I'm gonna put a layer of Mod Podge over it. And this is just gonna create a texture on the book cover and make it um, have like a leather look to it I guess kind of sort of um, but we're going to paint this up quite nicely so all right that is that okay so then uh, we're gonna let that dry and I'll be right back Okay, I decided not to let it dry. What I decided to do is I'm going to um, just peel it away from the book. Since we have a couple layers, we should be able to, and if we need to, we'll just wet it with some Mod Podge on the side to get it to peel away. Because I think I want to do something a little different instead of wrapping it around, which was my original plan. But as we all know, there's no rules with junk journaling and plans change. So trying not to make a big mess of this, but it's not cooperating very well. Okay, let's get rid of this. And if it comes off like it did with that corner there, just Mod Podge it back down, no big deal. It's a sticky, icky mess. Let's just put it that way. So. Okay. My tape for my staying in camera got attached to it somehow. Okay, that was interesting. All right, so now I'm just gonna go around the edge a little bit and get all that little excess off the book cover. All right, now we're gonna let this dry um, looks like I ripped a piece off right there. So let's fix that up real quick. <clears throat> you can't mess this up. So I am just going to crinkle this up and just lay it piece over right there where it kind of came off when I was pulling. So, 
Okay, and as you can see, there's all kinds of wrinkles and texture going on here, and that's what we want. So I'm going to take my heat tool to this, and I'll be back in just a few minutes. Okay, so I'm all dried now, but I do see a couple spots that I want to be a little more crinkled. So I'm just going to go back in and just apply a little bit more napkin to those spots. Um, you know, it doesn't have to be perfect. It's just I didn't get those areas very good with the first go around. So I redid the spine. And I just want to redo that little bit there. Um, and maybe a little bit there. And now that it's dry, you don't really see the napkin. So just put another thin coat of Mod Podge on to see if there's any other spots that I might like to... Give a little bit more texture to. And then I'll just dry that again. Um, we're only 11 minutes in, so I've got plenty of time left. This process does take a little bit of time between drying. So you have to be patient, but it, the you'll see when we're done that it is so worth it. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and dry that. Be right back. Okay, I'm going to leave that to dry overnight, and I will come back tomorrow with the next step, which would be to paint the cover and get it ready to start doing our book inside. So I thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time. Have a grateful day. Bye-bye.